Happy Earth Day, Assemblyman Otis. Happy Earth Day, Tracy. Great to be with you. Uh, this is Tracy Brown from Save the Sound, and I'm pleased to be joined by Assemblyman Steve Otis, who represents the 91st District in New York, which includes downstate communities on the coast of Long Island Sound in Westchester. So Assemblyman, it's been 50 years since the first Earth Day when people across the U.S. came together to fight for a healthier world. Now more than ever, people are relying on the natural world as a source of calm and health. Can you share what Earth Day means to you? Sure, Tracy. Uh, you know, uh, Earth Day was an important part of our lives back then, but it really wasn't the beginning of the environmental movement. Uh, it was sort of the culmination of uh, trying to galvanize that movement and its power around the country. But you think about it in New York State, you think the legacy of Teddy Roosevelt and Franklin Roosevelt and how much they did for the environment. You think about in the 1960s, Silent Spring by, by Rachel Carson that informed all of us about pesticides and their damage to, to water and to the environment. And those, those things led to Earth Day. That, those ideas percolated over the decades. Uh, but Earth Day really galvanized the country to understand, and we understand it even more 50 years later, that our survival on this planet depends upon what we do with our water, with the air, with our natural resources, with our habitats. So it's a tremendous importance to me. I've spent my whole life, even as a, even as a teenager, when Earth Day happened, I was involved in recycling efforts in my community and, and have followed through uh, in so many, so many parts of my life since then, including my work in the assembly. But uh, I was head of my conservation commission in my community. Uh, I was uh, involved in uh, these issues uh, as, as a mayor. And uh, we, we all have a job to do together. And I enjoy working with Save the Sand and the other environmental groups uh, who are partners in this work today. Thank you so much. Um, and we're grateful for all of your your incredible work and your, um, your leadership on these issues. Um, so you've been an environmental champion now for quite a while. Um, what environmental policy are you most proud of or most excited about accomplishing in the near future? Well, it, it's certainly one, Tracy, you and I have been able to work on together, and that is the great work in the last five years on clean water in New York State. And we have a great coalition of groups uh, the, all the environmental groups that work in Albany, uh, Scenic Hudson, Riverkeeper, Environmental Advocates, League of Conservation Voters, uh, I, Audubon, New York, uh, Adirondack Council, Adirondack Mountain Club, Labor, the labor groups, the construction groups, the local government groups, um, and the governor. And so we have now in the last five years, uh, what I'm most excited about is the clean water funding that we've gotten. And in the last five years, uh, $1.2 billion has gone out the door to municipalities to really jumpstart clean water projects. Very excited about something new in this year's budget, which is as part of the Governor's Environmental Bond Act proposal, I was able to get added uh, with the help of my assembly colleagues into that proposal, a new a water grant program for stormwater projects, which builds on what we did with the WIA program five years ago. And I, I, I think this is another important clean water piece that local governments need to do. And now hopefully we'll be able to provide some state funding in, in the Bond Act proposal. It's uh, at least $100 million of new money for stormwater projects for municipalities. So that's, that's uh, been the most rewarding part of my work. and. Uh, but Tracy, uh, you've been part of it too, because you've been up there lobbying and, and part of the, the Clean Water Coalition that I mentioned, because none of us do this alone. We do it as partners, and uh, that's the way we're going to save the planet um, on a whole host of, of other issues as well, is with, um, with the combination of people. And I mentioned uh, labor because the, the WIA program has produced... Uh, over 60,000 new jobs in the last five years. That's impressive. Yep. 
Great work. It's very exciting. I'm really excited about um, working together on the stormwater issue. You know, it gets to water quality as well as water quantity, uh, marine debris, and all kinds of things we all care about. So thank you so much um, and enjoy this, uh, this uh, really momentous anniversary. Well, we, we need to make, we can't just celebrate Earth Day. We have to make sure that we continue to do the things we need to do to save our air, our water, our planet. So thank you, Tracy. Great to be with you. Thank you so much, Steve.